All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be showcasing the new and improved Easy A Tech Fusion Zamasu on the global side of the game. And you guys might have noticed that unlike most of my showcases, this dude is actually not at rainbow status. He's not at 100%. He's actually at 79% or two dupes. And the reason for that is simply because I never pulled the extra dupes that rainbow him, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do the showcase anyways, because I'm assuming most of you guys out there don't have him at rainbow status. Most of you probably have him at no dupes or one dupe or two dupes. So this is probably a more realistic representation of what you can expect from Yorizumasu once you have him fully Extreme Z Awaken, right? Obviously, in the future, if I am able to do a rainbow showcase i will but today we're gonna change it up a little bit should be okay so without further ado let's jump into the showcase we're running a realm of gods team and let's link him up with both the goku black and the supreme kai here and we'll give a few orbs to goku black and then let zamasu do his thing and uh, supreme kai is not really gonna do any damage anyway so it doesn't really matter okay here we go here we go okay so easy at goku black 2.6 mil. Let's see what this new EZA can do. 2.7 mil. 2.7 mil. Not too bad, man. And we're creating for 2.3. And we're additional attacking for 2.9. Of course, he raises his attack with every super. At least on that turn. I believe it's only one turn, actually. So it's because he super twice that he has higher attack on the second super. Let me check real quick, actually. I'm pretty sure... It's only one turn he raises his attack on his super. Uh, let's see. Hold on, actually, it doesn't he doesn't raise attack? Oh no no no! It's because he raises extreme class allies attack by thirty percent for one turn. Of course, that includes himself, so that's why he got the extra attack. There we go. Okay. So I was confused for a second, but look, damage wise, this dude is not gonna disappoint. He's gonna be doing a whole lot of damage, especially if you have more dupes than me. So if you you know, have yours rainbowed, I'm guessing he's going to be reaching easily 3.5, maybe 4 million damage. I've never tested a rainbow tech Fusion Zamasu myself, but I would assume that, you know, just based on the extra attack and everything, that 4 mil should be pretty easily obtainable for this unit. So, damage-wise, I'm impressed. Alright, I'm very impressed by his damage. Now, the question is... Can he now take a hit? Because Tech Fusion Zamasu's issue was never damage, right? When he first came out, he hit really, really hard for the time. And then, of course, over time, he kind of became less impressive because units started hitting a lot harder, right? So, you know, his damage was a little bit meh. Like, this dude, before his EZA, was hitting for about, like, 1.5, 1.4 million, which is okay. Nothing crazy. And now he's doing pretty much double that. So he does hit a lot harder, but he was never good defensively. Like before the EZA, he had no defense at all. Like, well, no def not, not no defense, but like very, very low defense, right? And now he gets 50% defense. Okay, so here we go. We got 2.2 mil here with no support, obviously. But uh, now he's getting 50% defense. He's also giving that to the rest of the rotation. So we still didn't get to see him do any tanking, but I'm assuming he's going to hit or he's going to tank a little bit better. I probably still wouldn't recommend anybody to use him for tanking purposes because he's not going to be good for that. I can tell you right now, we haven't seen any tanking numbers, but I can guarantee you that he is not going to be a very impressive tank by any means because even with 50% defense, I mean, it's only 50%. So I don't think he's even going to get to 100k worth of support. I mean, we'll find out. In a second, I haven't taken a look at the numbers yet, but I'm pretty sure he can't even get to 100k. So if you're not 100k, then in these harder events like the Legendary Goku event or Super Battle Road, a super is still going to punish you very, very hard. So do not use this guy to take a super. Alright, if there's a lot of attacks, do not put this guy in front of them because you're going to regret it, right? But that being said, it, he is going to be improved. He is going to be tanking better than he used to. Just still not very good. Don't use him the same way you would like, I don't know, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta or a Golden Frieza or anything like that. Okay, so here we have the transformation for the AGL Zamasu. And uh, linking wise, we should get a few extra links. There we go. So we have some more attack here. 
And defensively, yeah, as I feared, 67,520 defense. That's not a lot at all. Um, I mean, I, I do kind of want to put him here, actually, just to see how well he can tank. So let's just go for it. Yeah, let's just go for it. I mean, I, we're not going to die. We're definitely not going to die. It's just uh, we probably won't. Oh, you know what? Actually, that was better than I thought it would be. Okay, so he just took that for double digits. But the real question is, how much is a super going to do to us? Okay, we didn't take a super there. Okay, so as you can see, earlier stages, we're doing okay. But as you guys know, man, this Goku's attack ramps up very quickly as we go through the stages in this event. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how he holds up at like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, UI, MUI. We're probably not going to get to MUI because I don't plan to use any items. But we'll, we'll see how well he holds up as we go through the event, right? As I said, man, don't use him for tanking purposes. Uh, as far as where he ranks among the you know, Dokkan Fest Extreme Sea Awakenings out there, I would put him in the same tier as like, mm, maybe Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, um, like good EZAs, but not busted EZAs. Like I consider busted EZAs like Fizz, Vegito Blue, for example, Int Janemba, really, really freaking good. Um, he's not quite there. All right, so I, I wouldn't put him in like that that upper echelon of. Extreme Z Awakenings, but he's like, you know, he's, he's, he's in that tier below. He's like right there, and he's really good. It's just, I do wish they could have given him some more defense. That's the only gripe I really have about him, because as you can see, man, damage number-wise, like, he's gonna give you a lot of damage. If you guys want a hard hitter, a damage dealer, this guy's got you covered. This guy's definitely got you covered, but that being said, his defense is still lacking a lot by today's standards, man. Like, you can't really use him on any of these newer events. Any of these, like, endgame events. I mean, you could. But you would have to try really hard to hide him. Right? I mean, here we have type advantage. So, we're not going to be hit, getting hit pretty, uh, very hard at all. Which is a good thing. Um, about 2.7 mil here. We're critting a ton, which is awesome. We're critting constantly. So, we're doing a lot of damage there. But, as you guys will see, I mean... <laughs> So far, what I'm saying is not really matching up to his performance, right? Because you're like, yo, what are you talking about, man? This dude is tanking really well. But believe me, he's not going to be holding up in the stage after this one. Next one, next is Super Saiyan God, right? So in Super Saiyan, against Super Saiyan God, his defense is not going to hold up. I can promise you that. So, like I said, I don't really put him in the same tier as, like, uh, Super Saiyan... Actually, uh... Uh, wait, I'm, I'm confused now. What was I, what I was trying to say? Uh, oh, Super Saiyan 3, Goku. I think he's maybe in that kind of tier. Uh, AGL Super Saiyan 3, maybe like Tech Beerus. I would probably say Tech Beerus is a little bit better than him, just like because of the defense. Um, yeah, Tech Beerus is probably a little bit better because Beerus has got the damage and got the tanking, or at least more tanking. Whereas this guy, it's, it's mainly just damage. It's mainly just damage. Okay, so... This is going to be a better show. Oh, what just happened? We're good, right? I think we're good. Okay, so this happens sometimes with my Elgato. It's very iffy, so I'm going to just be very careful to not touch anything. I might have touched a connector, and it's just, it just completely crapped out. Okay, so we got the token attack. Let's focus on this and try to get it perfect. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Okay. And attack stat goes up to 2.77 mil. 2.77 mil. We haven't broken 3 million yet, which is interesting. Um, but 2.7 mil, still not bad. This token attack should hit pretty damn hard. Yeah, almost 4 million. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the damage. But do you guys see how much that normal attack from the Super Saiyan God Goku did? It was 53,000, man. 53,000. This AGL Zamasu is tanking better. AGL Zamasu is tanking better. Of course, that's because of his damage reduction, but still. It's kind of sad, man. <laughs> it's kind of sad. That's why I was... Oh. Oh, we got the dot. Nice. Yo, apparently the game wanted to do... Wanted the showcase to go on a little bit longer, because I was like, that. that's the end of the showcase. There we go. That's 
it's over. But uh, apparently the game was like, you know what? Keep showcasing this guy for a little bit longer. So we're going to keep going until we die. That's pretty much how these showcases go. I don't use any items and uh, just let things play out naturally. So uh, as I was saying, man, I just wish they made this guy a little bit better defensively. I just wish that he had maybe a little bit of damage reduction, even like 20%. 20% would have been good just to make it so that he doesn't die to like basically every single super <laughs> in in one of these modes like legendary goku events or super battle road or even infinite dragon ball history on the later stages right um or maybe just give us more defense like percentage wise right give him like a hundred percent defense i think that would have been good maybe 140 attack 100 percent defense would have been too high maybe 80 percent defense just something in that range Something in that range would have been good. Okay, so let's see what he can do here. Let's see what he can do here. I really should be putting the Rosé in front to give it a bit of extra attack, but at the same time, I don't really trust him there. Like, I, we would have died if I put Rosé there, so... Alright, show me something good. Yo, some monster, show me something good. Under 200k. 103k, wow. That's not bad. I'm pretty impressed, man. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so 2.8 mil here, 2.3 mil. We are critting constantly. Yo, I know I say this sometimes in videos. I don't know if there's really any truth to it, but I just feel like some units have a higher propensity to crit. You know, like just certain units just seem to crit more, even at the same level of crit in the hidden potential system. So like two units, both at level 20, sometimes one just seems to crit a lot more, man. It might just be a conspiracy theory. I've said this many times in showcases, but this guy, seems to crit a lot and even when i was showcasing or, or using him just like by myself before i started doing the showcase um you know he was critting constantly like he wouldn't stop critting so i don't know what's up with that i'm gonna just skip the turn here so we can do one more turn with zamasu just one final you know super before we go and end the showcase but um i mean pretty much everything i thought about this unit has panned out he does a lot of damage his defense is better than it was before but still not great still not great you guys saw some good tanking there um with the super but of course that's with type advantage uh if it's type neutral or god forbid type disadvantage he's gonna get punished so that's the that's the unit guys good good damage dealer not the hardest hitting um extreme z awakening we've seen he doesn't hit as hard as like uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, for example, but uh, he does, you know, enough damage to satisfy. <laughs> That's for sure, enough damage to satisfy. And uh, defensively, you know, he's not garbage, but he's not that good. So this should end Goku now. Oh, oh, oh we're over three million now. Three point one million. Okay, I like it. Three point one mil here. And no crit there, but 2.1 mil. Okay, so that is where I'm going to end the showcase, guys. I don't think there's any point in continuing. Although it would be kind of fun to see how much damage you take against the uh, MUI here. So maybe I'll keep going for a bit. Okay, you know what? Like I said, I'm not going to I'm not gonna stop until we die. So why don't we just see if we can survive this turn without using any items. And if we can, then we'll do one more turn with the Zamasu. We're most likely going to die here. Maybe... 75k? Wow. Okay. Okay, so both Zamasu's actually impressing me a little bit with their damage taking ability. A little, just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, anyways, guys, um, that is mostly the showcase. <laughs> I'm going to do my regular sign-off as this stuff is playing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the 8... Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, um, no extra attack from the Zamasu, but you guys know what's up. You guys know what he's all about. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. Are you impressed? Are you disappointed? Is he busted? Or is he meh? Or is he somewhere in between? I feel like he's somewhere in between. I don't think he's either, like, you know, really disappointing or really impressive. He's just... He's good. He's good. His damage is definitely impressive. But then... The lack of defense does take away from that a little bit right so uh that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel 
and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. You join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.